Welcome to GTEC Techna Solutions Private Limited. This is most interesting area that's atomic physics. So, atomic physics is one of the major uh, research area and everyone is concentrating in this area due to the growth of the country and also due to the growth of each and every individual business. So, under atomic physics, uh, we are going to talk how, what is atomic physics followed by the discharge of electricity through gases at low pressure and we are going to identify the discovery of electrons followed by the properties of cathode rays positive rays or canal rays and finally the determination of a specific charge of an electron that's Thomson method and discovery determination of charge of an electron under Millikan's oil drop experiment what do you mean atomic physics as I told it's regarding the atoms Atomic physics is the field of physics that studies atom as an isolated system of electrons and an atomic nucleus. You are able to see the nucleus surrounded by the electrons. This nucleus will be having the neutron and proton. So it is primarily concerned with the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus and the processes by which these arrangements are changed. This is the structure of an atom which will have the nucleus. So you are able to see the quarks is lesser than or 10 power minus 19 meter and the electron will be of around the size is 10 power minus 18 meter and your neutron and proton are of size 10 power minus 15 and your nucleus is of size 10 power minus 14 meter. The entire atom is of almost 10 power minus 10. So the entire atom will be having the nucleus with the electrons around. This is the structure of an atom. Now we will discuss about the discharge of electricity through gases at low air pressure and the discovery of electrons. Discharge tube is a close a strong glass tube of length 50 meter with a diameter of 4 cm filled with gas. You are able to see the air at very low pressure and this is the discharge tube and you got your red glow. And here we got our perforated cathode to this particular tube we are able to give a high voltage. And here is your vacuum pump and you got your anode. So here is the cathode and this one is anode and electrical charge is given so that the discharge tube is generating the rays that is passed and is creating a red glow here. Two metal electrodes, a cathode and anode are fitted inside the tube. The side tube P is connected to a high vacuum pump and a low pressure gauge. Moving further, when the pressure of the gas inside the discharge tube is reduced by working the vacuum pump to about 110 mm of mercury mm of Hg, there will be no discharge occurs through the tube. At a pressure of about 100 mm of Hg, the discharge of electricity through the gas begins and irregular streaks of light appear accompanied by a crackling sound. As the pressure is reduced to the order of 10 mm of Hg, the irregular streaks are broadened into a luminous column extending from the anode almost to the cathode. This column is called a positive column. With a further reduction in temporary pressure to around 0.01 or mm of Hg, the positive column disappears and Krug's Space, dark space fills the whole tube. At this stage, the walls of the glass tube florence with the green color. You are able to see the green colors. This greenish glow in the final stage of the gaseous discharge is found to be fluorescence of the glass produced by some invisible rays emanating from the cathode. These rays are called cathode rays and are found to be the electrons. Now we will talk about the properties of cathode rays. 
The cathode travel in a very straight line. You can see here. Cathode possesses momentum and kinetic energy. Cathode produces heat when allowed to fall on matter. Cathode produces fluorescence when they strike a number of crystals, minerals and salt. 